Hey there, today's a good day. It's a good day because I'm gonna make a video that's like no other video I've ever made before. This is an instructional video. Recently, I've been doing a series of videos I've been calling roulette videos, either recipe roulette, where I pick a random page out of a recipe book, or restaurant roulette, where I pick a restaurant out of a list of restaurants. I've actually got some private messages where people have told me what I'm doing is not roulette. Well, I have to agree with them. I'm not actually playing roulette. Roulette is actually a wheel in a casino that you spin in one direction and release a ball in the opposite direction. And wherever that ball lands is the winning number. Well, hard to believe, but I don't actually own a roulette wheel. So I'm using technology to my advantage. I'm using a virtual roulette wheel that doesn't have a ball, but it does have an arrow that points to a winning number after the wheel is spun. I thought a fun idea would be to show you the actual website I use to spin my virtual roulette wheel. That way, if you're making a video that has roulette in the title, or possibly you just want to have some fun, you'll have a tool at hand that you can use. This is a website I go to when I want to do one of my roulette videos. It's called pickerwheel.com. There are several different wheels you can use. I typically use just two of them. This one here that lets you input a list, and then there's another wheel that lets you have a whole number range. So I'm going to show you both of those. First of all, this roulette wheel is what I use for the restaurant roulette. Put a list of restaurants in the inputs and then make a selection. I'm going to just do three restaurants. Let's say some fast food restaurants. Arby's, McDonald's, and how about Culver's? As you can tell, the roulette wheel got populated. Now to make a selection, it's going to just do a random selection. There's no thinking involved here. Just press the spin button. McDonald's. Frankly, it probably would have been my last choice, but okay, McDonald's it is. Um, this wheel can be customized a bit. You can change the colors, you can change the spin duration, you can change the sounds. The other picker wheel I used from this website was the number picker wheel. I used that on the recipe roulette videos. I listed all the pages in the book and excluded some pages that were of recipes we've already done. Let's just set this up from 1 to uh, 60 and exclude some pages, maybe 22 and 55 and 56. So the roulette wheel is now set up with those random numbers or those numbers in that range, excluding the ones I excluded. This is so much better than just flipping through a book because I know when I flip through a book, I never stop on the first five pages or the last five pages. You want to make sure you have a real random pick. So just like picking a deck of cards. Somebody asks you to pick a card from a deck. You're never going to pick the first or last card. You're going to pick something in the middle. So this takes away all that human interaction and just comes up with a run, random number. Let's spin it. 37. Good number. So this is the pickerwheel.com website. It's a really nice, easy website to use, very configurable. You can change the colors, you can change the sounds, and you can have a lot of fun with it. There you go. A little introduction to pickerwheel.com. Very customizable. There's several different wheels you can choose from. And if you get the paid version, which I have no idea how much it actually costs, I know you can customize it even more and put your own colors in there and stuff. And I know it'll get rid of all the little pop-up ads. If you made it this far in the video, thanks so much. If you could take a moment and just subscribe, it's free. Give it a thumbs up and throw a comment in there. I love reading your comments and answering them. I know this wasn't one of my regular videos for cooking or going to some cool place with Patty. Those videos are coming up again. I thought, you know, let's do a little educational video for those that need a little educating. As always, I'm having a great day. I hope whatever you're doing, you're having a great day. 
See you next time.